Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and a couple of weeks ago I promised that I was going to be making a TV missile guide since a lot of you have been requesting so, and that is exactly what today's video is going to be. And these tips are going to be what I find to be helpful. I don't think that there is only one way you can get better with a TV missile, and I only I only play on PC as well, and I know that a lot of people on the PS3 and the Xbox 360 have trouble with this particular weapon, and it can be kind of challenging to use because you aren't using a mouse, which is a lot more precise. Uh, so hopefully I can go into some, uh, some helpful tips that will be useful for both PC and on console, uh, but yeah, let's just kind of get started. Uh, so my first tip is is very simple, and all it is is you just need to play in the attack helicopters and use the TV missiles as as much as you can. The only way you're gonna you're gonna feel comfortable with this weapon is to use it. It's it's true for anything in the game, and it's even more so for this one because it's it's tricky. It's kind of got a weird delay, not really lag to it, but it's 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 a very clunky thing to try to control. And if you just don't know how it feels or how it works, you're never going to get better with it. So if you just kind of jump into it every once in a while, uh, you're it's it's you're just simply not going to get better with it. Uh, another thing is try to play with a friend because one of the hardest things to do is if you are playing with a random is for them to line up a shot for you and it can get just way too complicated and way too frustrating. Uh, so if you do want to get dedicated and you do want to get better at this, uh, play with a friend and play often. Uh, as for controlling this bad boy, I have set up a web camera so that you can see my mouse movements and I realize that this isn't a isn't the best comparison for you console players because you're not going to be able to replicate this because I am using a mouse, but hopefully you will be able to tell how often I am moving my cursor around and then kind of transfer that on over to your your controllers. Uh, but really what it's going to come down to is predicting where your target is heading and to try to line up the shot from the very beginning because as as I mentioned before, the one problem with this weapon is that it's it's very clunky, and when you try to make a lot of corrections during your flight, it's usually just going to result in you hitting the ground. I mean, it, it it's very challenging to, to, to make a lot of corrections simply because uh, it just gets really clunky on you. And the way that I combat that is to just simply try to line up the shot from the very beginning and to predict where your target is heading. And the easiest targets and the ones that I would try to practice on are tanks. They can only really head in a straight line. They're not going to be able to strafe out of the way. They may be able to break on you, which is going to make things a little challenging if they were going like full speed and then just all of a sudden stop. But I will hit around 80 to 90 percent of my shots on tanks, and that's because I, well, first of all, I'm, I am using a mouse, so it's going to be a little easier for me, but it's because I am predicting where they're heading, and at the very end, I'm making the final correction. And the reason why I make the correction at the end is because I, for whatever reason, at least for me, it makes it easier, it kind of combats the clunkiness. I mean, it's still got the clunky feel to it, but I've been using it for so long, it, it just kind of works for me, and I don't think that it has that same effect, and as long as you're making kind of one fluid motion for that final correction, uh, it's not, it's it's going to line up for you, and at least, at least it does for me. Uh, as for helicopters, this is where things get a little tricky. A lot of you have probably seen my Double Vision or Get to the Chopper series where I, I nail a lot of helicopters, but to be honest, I will miss more often than I than I hit simply because they're just a lot harder to line up and they can kind of be a lot more sporadic and when you do go against a good chopper pilot they're gonna make your life a lot more difficult because they'll see the TV missile come and because they know you're trying to predict their current movement they will just go in a completely different direction and to try to make that uh, that final correction which I recommended isn't impossible by any means but it's a lot more challenging and that's where that's when you're gonna start to miss a lot. Uh, but really, it's the same thing for tanks. You're going to want to try to line up a shot from the beginning, predict where they're heading, and then at the very end, make the final corrections. And hopefully, you will start to line things up more. Uh, but really, those are the only tips that I have. It's just going to really come down to practice makes perfect like anything in life, and that's definitely true for the TV missile. But I hope that these uh, tips will be useful for you. Uh, this was also my 500th, 500th video. I can't even believe I produced that much content. But yes, this was my 500th video. I thought that this would suit it quite uh, quite well, considering that a lot of you have been requesting it. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy today's video or just want to support my channel, it always brings a smile to my face when 
to give my videos a rating, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more. Uh, but until next time, guys, have a good one, and take it easy.